What's up y'all? So today I'm about to show y'all a couple of different hacks that I think would be useful during your vacation here in Bali. And every time I take people to these places, they're like really excited and they find it so useful. So let me just put it on the tubes. Let me just show you guys where you should go when you come to Bali and how to make your life a lot easier and make your Bali vacation a lot more interesting. So follow me and let's do this. Hey y'all, it is so hot today, um, but I made it to my first stop, and that is Bineka Jaya, which is one of the oldest coffee shops in Bali. I recommend this place to everybody because the coffee is cheap, and it's good, and I love it. I ordered an affogato, pistachio affogato, which is just pistachio gelato and a shot of espresso. That's good. So if you need to get souvenirs, just come to Kumbasari. Anything you'll see on the street, you'll see here in Kumbasari. Hats, all types of hats. Baskets, everything you need is here. And there's more shops and they're all gonna be fair prices. Don't stress yourself with the people on the street. Sometimes it's just more trouble than you need. So Kumbasari guys, Kumbasari Market, I'll put the spelling right here so you know where to find it only thing is is that it really does smell like a market like if you're not used to that like traditional Asian street market smell maybe not come here but <sighs> that's the only setback honestly otherwise this is where I shop this is where I get my stuff so you can trust and believe these are good prices so they have a whole bunch of art here little statues and things for the house home decor I think those are called wind chimes Hello. Yeah, looking. Just got this bag for 100,000, which was the price I was determined to pay. And I think in the normal market, this might cost like, you could probably get them down to like, I don't know, 200. Perfect. So we actually came down to the first floor of Kumbasari. I've never been here. Hello, Pramisi. I see. Yeah. Wow. Cushions. Wow. Yeah, Thanks for bringing me down here. I did not know this stuff was down here. Oh, these are. And it's pretty like a slow day. It's like no one in here. So. Hello. Hello. Oh, there we go. Ooh, ew. All right, oh, hold on, let me show you all the Christmas decorations. This is kind of like a vlog now, but I'm gonna get back to the hacks. Snowflakes, Merry Christmas. Got a little stockings here over the fireplace. That's cute. Then we got a little, mm-hmm. It's Christmas up in here. I'm gonna tell y'all something that I be telling everybody, which is get a massage every day if you're gonna visit Bali. Like, if you're not getting a massage every day, then I think you're doing Bali wrong because Massages are cheap and massages are just necessary for your trip here to Bali. So I'm going to show you guys how I order my massage to my place. That way I don't have to leave and that way it's still like a local price. Yeah, it's really simple and it's really convenient. I only do it every Friday because I will get out of control if I don't put like some type of boundary on it. What I use is called Go Massage and that is through the Gojek app. And it's really simple, so let me show you. If you're staying in like a villa or a hotel or like a guest house, you can open your Gojek app. As you can see, I have mine open here. Go to more, then go to go massage. Yep, and then it will bring you to this menu. I don't think I'm gonna do regular body massage today. So body massage. I am a woman. You can do 60, 90, 120. I think I'm going to go for the 90. So then you choose your preference of gender. So Tita Ara means it doesn't matter. Juanita woman, Priya man. I always choose woman. And that's only 100,000. Oh, got an email. So that's only 100,000. So submit. And then I'll have to put in my information here. You can put in whatever time you want to choose here. So December 20th, it is 321. So let's do it for 4 o'clock. This isn't my address. 
um, but I'll put it in afterwards. And all you do is order. And you can use cash or you can use your GoPay. Simple as that. My body's quite sore from the gym, so I'm really looking forward to this. So I'm ready for my massage. I just threw on a robe. I'm about to light some incense. And I'll show you my little setup so that you can kind of see how I set up my house for when I get a massage. Let's put you here. All right, cool. What I did was take one of the cushions off my couch and I just put it on the floor. Like so. And we in there. It's super comfortable because as soon as I get done with my massage, I can just hop in the shower and go about the rest of my day. And it's amazing. I also wanted to mention another reason that it's good to use Gojek for your massages is because they offer vouchers. I was supposed to pay 100 and 10 for my massage. I'm getting a full body massage and a face massage. It's supposed to be 110, but for some reason Goja gave me a coupon for 100,000 and I only have to pay 10,000 for a 90 minute massage, which is less than a dollar. That's crazy. That's crazy. I think my massage lady is here, so I will see you guys in a bit. I just finished my massage and it was amazing. She did an excellent job. I think I'm gonna add her to my favorites. You can do that in Gojek, by the way. You can just add them to your favorites and call them up again. I love doing that. And now I am going to just relax. Some people have been asking me some questions, so let's answer those questions. Just so I can give you guys like an update on my life and just so you guys can kind of keep up with what's going on. Some things have changed like the last couple months and I kind of forget to like update you guys on that. So let me answer some of the questions that I've been getting and we'll go from there. By the way, so this is the bag that I actually got for the market today. I didn't really have time to show you guys, but this is really cute, like sturdy, like what is this material called? Like weft or I don't know, but it's really like sturdy and my laptop fits perfectly in here. And then what you can do is pull this up and just do the drawstring like that. So no one can like reach in your bag and grab your stuff, which is something I'm low key worried about sometimes. So yeah, super cute. I think I'm gonna add like a little bandana or something here. So let me look at the questions that I got in my DMs. So the first question is, and by the way, guys, I don't think you're being nosy when you ask me questions. Like, I fully put my life on the internet, so, like, can't expect that you're not wanting to know some stuff. Uh, so the first question is, are you living with the roommate now? I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but I live with Kate. Kate, um, you might know her from the food market video. We were just kind of, like, there just laughing and literally just laughing i think the whole video <laughs> we're not even really talking but here she is we're watching christmas movies hey kate what do you have to say about our snowflakes on the wall we decorated this whole place ourselves like the we bonus did. roommates we are exactly it's actually not we've already decided that it's not coming down ever we're invested so the next question is were you worried about your house while you were back in the u.s no kate was here <laughs> <laughs> Taking care of shit. <laughs> Kate was here and she kept, you know, operations going. She held it down. Have you made more friends from the U.S. there? Yeah. Of course, Kate. <laughs> Kate. Kate's leaving soon. I feel like this question but... is just about me. <laughs> <laughs> Kate is my life and I'm Kate's life. Aww. We do everything together. Yeah, I've actually made some a lot of friends from the U.S. I have some friends that I've just met through Kate. I've met like Nina through Kate, um, my videographer for my raps and whatever video, he's from the U.S. Yeah, I've met a lot of people from the U.S. I think those are the three questions I got the most um, in my DMs, but people also ask a lot about accommodations and like where to stay in Bali. I have to be honest, guys, I don't stay anywhere here in Bali besides my house. Only thing I can say is start with Airbnb and then go from there. As you guys know, Christmas is in five days and Kate and I have some exciting plans. We're actually doing a little bit of traveling around the island. I can't wait to show you guys what we're doing. I'm not gonna tell you yet. So you just have to come back and stay tuned to my channel and see what we're up to. It's gonna be a good Christmas though. That's all I can tell you. Have a good day wherever you are. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and turn your um, post notifications on too so you don't miss a video. 
because I'm going to be consistent in 2020. I'm saying that now, I'm putting it out there, and that's the vibe. Consistency 2020. Consistency 2020. It's self-love, it's self-reflection, it's about us. All right, I got deep real quick. <laughs> All right, bye guys.